Hi there, this is Kimberly Wilson of Tranquility Du Jour, and welcome to another episode of Tea with Kimberly. So what I wanted to show you today is a peek inside my paper obsession. I have a variety of notebooks that I feel like are important to my everyday life and that I always have with me. And um, if I don't have with me, then they are at my bedside because I want to be able to reach them whenever I get home. All right, so the first one, of course, is my day book. Love this day book. It has everything I could possibly need tucked inside. And um, here's an example of month's dreams. Now, the thing about this, this is where I plan everything. So I've got my projects, I have my appointments, I've got my year's dreams, my month's dreams. Um, I've got, what's the other piece? The to-do <laughs> the to-do list, hello, yes, a very important piece, all in this trusty little book. All right, so, and this is available actually at KimberlyWilson.com for anyone who's interested and on Amazon. All right, so the second book that I love, now this is one that is quite big and heavy. All right, so this is one that I use for bigger picture thinking. I will also put um, images in, and I take notes in from various workshops or classes or even creating my own sort of classes. Then I will kind of use this. So this is something that's more for like bigger picture and stuff that I really want to have um, a lot of space for, right? So this is quite large, eight and a half by 11, probably, maybe even a little bit bigger. And I got it, you can see this is the sale tag that was removed. I got it like a Barnes and Noble on sale for $6.99. Anyway, I love this book. And this is something that like, say I travel and I go away for a weekend or I go to Paris or something like that. This always comes with me because I feel like this is my bigger picture dreaming tucked inside. I do not tote this though every day, um, but it's always has a spot on my desk just waiting to be looked at and played in and dreamed in. Okay, this is my not so exciting little book, but this is what I always have in my bag also. So along with my day book, this. This is called my ideas book. Honestly, the main thing I use it for is taking notes in therapy um, because if I have an idea or what have you that pops in, oftentimes I'll just tuck it right into my day book or I will list it here also. So for example, here's notes on therapy, but then also I went to a workshop on human design, which I thought was interesting, and so I took notes in here. So, you know, rather than hauling around the day book and pulling it out, say, at, you know, a quick two-hour workshop, then maybe I will write instead here into my ideas book. It's not very sexy. It could definitely be decorated with washi tape, and if you're like, what is that? Well, let me just tell you. Here's an example of washi tape. So love washi tape, and aren't these binder clips adorable? I love the gold. This blue one's a little out of place. So gold and leopard prints. And um, washi tape is just a wonderful way to accessorize all of your paper products. And I'll show you in a moment what I've done with that. Okay, so ideas book, tucking it right back inside my bag. Okay, the other thing, and this one is also in my bag every day, is my journal. Okay, and this was a gift from a friend. I think it's so cute. Gold and, um, you know, lots and lots of writing because lots and lots of thoughts. So, and it's funny, recently um, I was at an appointment and I thought, oh my gosh, why did I take my journal out? Because I tried to be really light going to this appointment just thinking like, oh, I don't need all that stuff, right? And then I was like, oh my goodness, do I have to write my journal thoughts into my ideas book when I really want to put it into my journal? And I was just so upset that I hadn't brought it. And really, I think I had taken it out because it was by my bedside because I had been writing it the night before and I just didn't put it back in my bag. So it's funny how sometimes you're like, oh, I don't have time to write. But the time you do and you don't have it, you know, to uh, always keep it with you next time. And then also I keep a pen tucked inside. So, you know, it's at the ready. I can write cute little just easy pen. Okay, so the next book, if you're like, oh my goodness, but this one, this one I don't tote every day, right? So my everyday ones are day book, journal, 
ideas book. And this is so light, it's easy, easy peasy to keep with you. The other one that I just love is this, and you'll see all this is washi tape, right? So I've done washi tape on the edges, and I've also done that quite a bit with my day book, which you can probably see there. So this is, if you're like, what's the difference with this one? It's kind of like an ideas book meets sketchbook meets collage book uh, meets journal. So, you know, for example, I was at a conference and uh, an animal rights conference and someone was talking about the different isms that we can use to help in informing people about animal rights. And it was like lifeism, uh, photog photogivism, <laughs> foodism, memeism, chalkism, um, artivism. So, right, this idea of like all the different things that we do can be a way really of ex an extension of our activism. Somebody even wrote a book that I love called Cra Craftivism. And so there's all these different ways in which we can share. And so I love that. Um, and so notes from there, modules, so different, you know, whenever I release an e-course, I also go through it. And so that was module three. Um, meetings. Also, so here's some meeting notes. And here, you'll see I made a little tab, right? So this little tab sticks out a bit so I can easily find it. So these are quite a few notes from a meeting and then things that need I needed to do. So they have a little box next to it. And then I take those and then I put them into my day book. And um, isn't this like image so sweet? So a woman with her dog. And then what I'll do with this is write over it with a Sharpie. Here, this is a, a dress that I picked up in Italy and I put there. Uh, meeting, more meeting notes. This is a postcard from a guy I took a sketching class with in Paris. And I tucked that in here after our sketching class. And I haven't done anything with it yet, but I will attach it with some washi tape. And um, here again is a page that I went ahead and put the washi tape on the edge, which as you can see, I've done that through for a lot of this, but I left it out a little bit so it's super easy to find. And you may be like, why? Well, because this is all about my year's goals that I wanted to try to get clear on before I put them into my day books, year's dreams. So, voila. And again, more like, this is just tissue paper. So I got as a gift, washi tape over it, and then I put some thoughts underneath it. And um, this is like all sorts of ideas of what to do in Paris when I was there last year. Um, this is my uh, take it sketching. <laughs> it's funny, after I took the sketching class, the teacher was like, sketch every day and, you know, then you'll get better. And so I tried with a teapot that was in front of me. And as you see, I have a long way to go. Um, goals for the month that I wrote in here because I didn't have my day book with me while I was out at a cafe in Paris. And so then I wrote it in here. This is much easier to transport around. And then I put it into that. So this is kind of like a travel book too of sorts. And then of course, lots and lots of ideas and notes, even took inventory of the tranquility collection of what I had in stock. So these are really fun. And I've got quite a few of them, actually. Like here's one that I've used over the years. Again, quite full. And I love this size. You know, it's what is it? I think like a four by six. So it's easy peasy. doesn't get too heavy. It kind of serves this book's purpose, but just on a much smaller footprint. So those are my various paper products that are kind of critical to me. And I feel like if I go away and I don't have all of these with me, I feel like I'm missing a limb. So think about what it is for you that would help you collect thoughts and get them onto paper, dream, reflect, um, capture ideas, take notes at conferences. Because of course in the day book there is space for, you know, notes and things like that in the back. But, you know, you may want to keep it on a smaller scale, right, in just a little small thing that you have. So there's a bunch of inspiration pages in the back. But for you, you know, you may be like, I could fill that up in a day or two. So instead, you keep it on a smaller scale that you always have with you. And this is almost full. But what I'll do is I'll go through, you know, maybe before a meeting, I'll be like, oh, I found like three new pages that are blank. And even pages that have images. So I can write over those images. Let's see, like this sweet little dog one. So... Paper, paper planning, paper dreaming, paper reflecting, 
Thank you for tuning in to Tea with Kimberly.